Coming up with a good pond design is one of the first concerns to becoming a successful tilapia farmer in a tropical country. At first glance, a well-designed pond might appear as an old hole in the ground. In reality, there is much more to proper pond design that meets the eye. First up, concrete pans, if properly constructed, can last a lifetime. In addition, they can be constructed with vertical walls to increase the ratio of colonnage to surface area. The basic construction of a concrete pan follows that of the liner pans. The concrete should be 4 to 6 inches thick. Once the dimensions are established in an outline laid out, dig out the soil for the entire pond. Forms must be built in place to hold the concrete while it dries and cures. Concrete reinforcing bars must be cut to size and fitted into the construction. The pan must usually be poured all in one day and in one piece, or if large, in sections. You start with the bottom, then the sides, shelves, and lastly, the top and any coping around the edge. Any junctions of pans poured in sections are critical as the site of future leaks and weakness to the shifting aspects of the soil. An alternative is to pour the pan without forms and simply slope to the walls and pour the concrete thicker to hold the concrete in place. However, this procedure can produce weakness in the concrete itself due to low density and air pockets as well as being a problem to plant and maintain. Once the pan is built, it must be treated to correct the basic nature of concrete which would affect the pH of the water. The pH of the water may need periodic adjustments for some time after construction. Lastly, the color of concrete must be changed for the pan to look right. Apply a pool paint or a masonry sealant containing a dark pigment. This will conceal the bottom and moderate the pH of the pan. A large part of the world's fish culture production relies on the use of freshwater pans which hold and exchange water, receive fertilizer or feed, and allow for holding, re-airing, and harvesting of fish. The proper preparation and construction of such pans and their associated structures are essential for successful fish farming. Good pans should be inexpensive to construct easy to maintain and efficient in allowing good water and fish management. The following are the features of a fish pond. Although there are many kinds of fish ponds, the following are the main features and structures associated with them in general. First, the pond walls or dikes, which hold in the water. Next, the pipes or channels, which carry water into or away from the ponds. Third, Water controls, which control the level of water, the flow of water through the pond or both. Next is the tracks and roadways along the pond wall for access to the pond. And last, harvesting facilities and other equipment for the management of water and fish. On another hand, dugout type farm pans are constructed by excavating the soil from the ground relatively in flat areas. The depth of the pan is decided on the basis of its desired capacity, which is obtained almost by excavation. The use of this type of pan is suitable, particularly where a small supply of water is required. Now, it is your time to build your own tilapia fish pan. Thank you so much guys for tuning in and for watching our short tutorial. And please don't forget to watch, click, and subscribe.